Two years ago, we celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary with a vow renewal ceremony during a family vacation to Jamaica. I surprised my mom with first class flights. She, Kimar, and I headed down to Jamaica to spend a few days in Spanish Town with his mom before the rest of the family came down. Our cousin Kiki decorated the room with photos, books, other memorabilia, and of course, a beautiful balloon display. My mom has been to Spanish Town before, but it was a very quick turnaround trip. This time, she actually got to spend a few days with a real Jamaican experience, living that good Jamaican life in Spanish Town. So she got an opportunity to have fresh mango from the tree and also fresh coconut water straight from the coconut. My mom loved the experience. She got a chance to see how people welcome Kimar back to the community. They're always excited whenever he comes home and they have a chance to just see him on the street. And of course, in the community, you can see all kinds of things such as Kimar's auntie feeding her goats. And my mom also loved riding through Spanish town, being able to see people out on the street, just kind of selling their fruits and vegetables which is always a vibe to be able to get fresh food off of the street. And she also got a chance to spend time with Kimar's grandma because of course no trip to Spanish Town would be complete without a visit to see Miss Alva. And of course her most memorable experience was having an opportunity to visit the church in the community. <laughs> Then we picked up the rest of my family from the airport and headed to our home for the next few days. Welcome This is an aerial view of Dreamtime Villa, located in Montego Bay, Jamaica. It has a living area both upstairs and downstairs. It's seven bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, waterfront pool, gazebo, canoes, games, beautiful oceanfront, and more. All of the bedrooms were very large and spacious with plenty of room for you to move around, plenty of room for you to put your luggage and not have to be stepping over it. And this is the master bedroom, which also had a very large walk-in shower that was big enough to fit two people. The room was also just very comfortable, very luxurious, and the bathroom was a whole vibe. It also had an outdoor shower if you wanted to even shower outside. Each person had their own room, with some of the rooms even having beautiful oceanfront views.
Of course, no trip to Jamaica would be complete without a trip to the Blue Hole in Ochi. Ready? One, two, three, go. That's it. <laughs> And of course we had to take a few photos. We hope you're enjoying the video so far. We're also giving you a look at what our tours will be like when we buy a home in Jamaica. So we also went to Chicka Cove and rode the ATVs and it was a lot of fun. And all of the ladies did go horseback riding as well. And of course you can do cliff jumping as well if you're brave and fearless. That's how you do it. Also, during our stay at Dreamtime, some of the ladies received massages outside near the pool, out by the beautiful ocean.
We also spent a lot of family time just hanging out by the pool, just kind of hanging out, vibing, listening to music, sipping a little rum punch, playing a little water volleyball, just kind of having a ball. DJ Kim was on the ones and twos. Of course, Kim R was the DJ, just kind of controlling the music and the videos. And for those who didn't want to get in the pool, they just kind of sat poolside and watched all of the fun. And me and my boo got in some private chill time. The property also had kayaks, so we also took a short ride down the coast, took some photos, and got a chance to see the sandals over the water bungalows, which was very beautiful. We shared all of our meals as a family together in the dining room, and Chef Jay is the most amazing chef. He cooked all of our meals to perfection, and the chef was included in the cost of the villa. We only had to buy the food, so when we first arrived, we told him what kind of meals we wanted, and he went grocery shopping and bought everything that we wanted, and every meal was delicious. And finally, on the last night, we had a vow renewal ceremony. So it was nothing fancy or official. It was just two families coming together to celebrate family and love. First Corinthians 13, verse 4, and also verse 7 through 8. Um, this is Paul writing to the Corinthian church. And he was writing to them because they were trying to act so superior, thinking they were such superior Christians better than anybody. So he was writing to address their ethical, them to live a holy life. So this is what he wrote. He said, love is patient, is kind, is not envy, it does not hope, it is not proud, it is not hope, it is not self-seeking, it isn't easily angry, it keeps no record. 
records and wrong, does not delight in evil, it rejoices with the truth. It also protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. And now Ms. Jones will read from 1 Corinthians 2, verses 9. I'm <laughs> 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 